A near-death experience driving in the mud hills. Fire! Coming from the earth, not on the dance floor. And an ice-cold mud volcano? Welcome to Azerbaijan! Today we are taking a tour of the highlights surrounding Baku. I booked my ticket with Smile Tour and we were around 10 people and traveled by van. The first stop is the Bibi Hayat Mosque, situated beautifully between a hill and the Caspian Sea. This mosque was built in the 13th century and destroyed during the Soviet times and later reconstructed. In this mosque is the tomb of one of the descendants of uh, Prophet Muhammad. Now, oil and gas make up a big chunk of Azerbaijan's economy and some of the world's earliest modern oil wells are situated right here. Now we will have a look at the mud volcanoes in Gobustan National Park. To get there, we had to transfer to these smaller cars. And if you prefer to die soon, then this is the way to go. Scientific studies show that racing through a moon-like landscape in old, probably not well-maintained Soviet cars at these speeds significantly reduces your life expectancy. By the way, I'm publishing this video because that's what my followers voted for on a recent poll I published. If you also want to vote for which videos you want me to create next, then check out and follow my Instagram, which is also under STG Travels. Link is in the description below. There are around 350 mud volcanoes in Azerbaijan, and these are not actually volcanoes. It is caused by gases deep in the earth, which create pressure and push out cold mud. NASA scientists have concluded that this landscape looks like Mars. Uh, we are on the uh, mud mountain. Too much wind, I can't hear you. He's probably saying, uh, it's a bit cold. It was 13 degrees Celsius or 55 Fahrenheit, but with the wind chill, it felt much colder. And then we went to a place where people carved stuff into rocks a long time ago. Can you see the buffalo? Had the cavemen carved an A340 onto these stones, then I would be excited. Sorry, ah. my therapist said I should stop talking about airplanes all the time and then people might actually start liking me. It's uh, something like our national dance, so it looks a bit... And they were making a bonfire, gathering together and dancing. So, this is actually a dog. This is a dog, it's very small. At this moment, it's a Spears, cows, buffaloes, horses in the middle. But now I will show you the turtle. On most days you can see the Caspian Sea here behind me, but not today. Where were we? Oh wait, I'm German. Wer war we? Lunch time! We stopped at a buffet restaurant and this was before COVID-19 when all the fun got spoiled. Azerbaijani food is delicious! Next stop, Yanar Dag, or the Fire Mountain. This is similar to the Door to Hell in Turkmenistan. 
gas deposits slowly seep from the earth, and once ignited, they will burn forever. It's a nice place to warm up. When we were leaving, I heard one of the attendants say, Hey, Yusuf, tourist finish. We can turn off gas pipe now. I did my research and Yusuf is actually the most common male name in Azerbaijan. While we are on the topic of fire, the next stop is the Ateshga temple. Atash means fire in Persian. Merci! This is a temple built around another eternal flame, a similar fire coming from the earth. The fire went out in 1969, so much for being eternal, and is now fed by a gas pipe. I knew it! Azerbaijan used to be on the Silk Road, and I'm not talking about the fun version of Amazon. This temple was constructed by merchants who worship fire, among them also Hindus from India. Extracting oil, it has influence. And uh, also before, uh, we had uh, many burning mountains like that. All of them were destroyed by us. By the way, I am now accepting jokes for my upcoming videos. If you have a good one, then please comment below. Before the end of the tour, we did a quick stop at the Heydar Aliyev Cultural Center. For the record, before I have angry Azerbaijanis commenting below, I was kidding. I have no reason to believe the fire of Yanardag is man-made by a system of pipes. Or do I?